I'm going to tell a quick little anecdote before we go. I'm going to leave the names out of it. Other than I'll leave, I'll put one name in it just so that if anybody's watching this who knows me and knows my life back then, they'll know exactly who was there with me. Um, the concept started in, in the 90s from a company that was, gener- that was manufacturing polymer-coated ureas and sell them mostly in the southeast United States. And they came up with this idea of days of greening. Okay, so what does it cost per day of greening? And the, the concept of the idea is, well, if, if, if polymer code is going to last, um, it's going to cost twice as much as urea, but it, the days of greening are twice as much, then it offsets that cost because you're not, you, you know, one, it offsets the cost exactly if it's twice as long and it's twice as expensive, but you're also not going back out there and applying it as frequently. Okay. That was the concept behind it. Now I'll say this, that. Excel file that my old colleagues probably still have floating around where they have all the numbers and all the labor costs and all the fertilizer costs and longevity of release and all these things. That is inaccurate. And the way I know it is because I was sitting at the guy's kitchen counter who created the Excel file and he was just typing in numbers. Well, we need, we need the polyon. Uh, we have it listed as, uh, as 14 weeks. So we, and it didn't really work. So we're going to extend it to 16 weeks and the cost of Cost doesn't quite line up, so I'm going to increase the cost of urea to $700 a ton instead of $685 a ton. I'm going to lower the cost of polymer coat to $13. I'm, in other words, they just keep messing with the numbers sitting at his kitchen counter. And the, and the gentleman who was with me at the time, I will just say his first name was Charlie. He was with me. They, that wasn't the gentleman who was doing it. It was another gentleman who was just coming up with these numbers, just making them up. Okay. And so eventually you start fidgeting with the dial so much that you'll I- eventually end up with a number that compares the turf grass response or the cost of, of urea is greater than or equal to the cost of turf grass produced from polymer coated urea. But it's all just made up. N- none of it was based on reality. There was no evidence to support it. He was literally sitting at his kitchen counter in Birmingham, Alabama, just t- making numbers up on his, on his computer. Okay. That's, that's, that's where all that stuff came from.